how to make an app in Android Studio using AI. So I was able to build this app. Let me tap on the app icon for you to see. And it is Christmas card generator app. Okay. I was able to build this without writing a single line of code right inside Android Studio using Gemini. And it also comes with an APK that you can install right on your Android phone, as you can see. And I didn't even write a single line of code. Let me show you how to do it. So you have to install Android Studio right on your system and then open it. So when it comes from here, simply come here to where we have projects and then come and select it right from Android Studio. And then from here, simply come and then select new project by clicking on it. So when you click on it over here from the new project, come and then select phone and tablet. Okay. So after selecting it, all these activities will come. And the one that we are going to select is empty views activity. This one, click on it to select it. So after selecting it, all that you have to do is simply come here and come and click on the next. Okay. It is going to bring you right here to the empty views activity where you can come and then create a new empty view activity. So the first is the name. So the name is the name of your app. Okay. So just name it how you want your app name to be. So mine is Christmas card generator plus. Okay. And then the package name, it is going to automatically pick that of your app name. Okay. And then we have the file location. So over here, you can simply come and then click on the folder and then change it. So my, by default, it is going to be saved at the desktop. So the language to we have Kotlin, I'm going to leave it just like that. And then the minimum SDK, that is the minimum Android version. You can simply come and then click on it to change it. But I'm simply going to leave it at 7.0, okay? And this is available on most Android devices. That is what I really want. And then the build configuration, I'm going to leave it just as it is, okay? And after that, all that you have to do is to simply come here and then come and click on the finish. So that is it. It is going to import the Gradle project for you for your new empty views activity. When you come and then click on the build, you see that it is syncing. Just allow it to do it. Okay. It is going to take some few minutes. And then as you can see from here, build successful. Okay. And from here too, we have successfully built it. So this is our Android project that we have successfully built. The next important thing is that you have to come and then connect your Android phone using a cable to your system and then come and click on the run. Make sure that you allow USB doubling. Okay, so after connecting my Android phone using a cable and then allowing the USB doubling, you simply have to come and then click on the run so that it, it can run your MC views activity for your app for it to display on your phone. So as you can see, it is launching on your phone and it's going to launch Hello World on your phone just like this. So when this displays, it means that it's working perfectly fine. You can come and click on the stop app for it to stop. Now that we have successfully tested it and it's working perfectly fine we have to come and then add our app icon okay so make sure that you are within the android view and come and click on the app okay and then among it simply come here to where we have the rest okay so among the app come here to the rest right click on the rest and then it is going to pop up all these options so from the options simply come here to where we have the new and then from the new you see that we have something called the image asset come and then click on the image asset so when you click on the image asset the configuration image asset will open just like this so the icon type leave it as it is the name leave it as it is and then the foreground layer okay over here the layer name simply leave it as it is the asset that is the asset type make sure that image is selected and then from the path over here come and then click on the folder and select exactly where you have your image okay that is the app icon so mine is a desktop and this is my app icon i'm simply going to click on it okay so after selecting it, simply come and come and click on open and it is automatically going to open just like this. So simply come here to the background layer 
and then from the layer name leave it just as it is and then from the source asset the asset type come and then make sure that you check the color okay and then from the color come and then put the mouse on it so that you can customize it and then click on it so you have two options to either select white or black so to select black just drag it to the edge just like this and then black color is going to be selected now that you have selected the black color just leave everything as it is just like this and then simply come down here and come and click on the next so when you click on the next it is going to bring you right here just leave everything as it is okay then come and then click on the finish so we have successfully added our app icon so when you come and then you click on the rest and then you come and then click on the drawables you see that from the drawables we have our app icon added just like this now the next thing is that you have to come and then open gemini okay so as you can see gemini is active when you click on this option make sure that enable ai code completion is selected and then gemini is active okay so after that after making sure that gemini is active simply come here to the options and come and click on the chat so when you click on the chat gemini is going to open and then it is important to make sure that you select the agent but not the chat select the agent and after that simply come and then first write this so say that please continue to build my app for me i have created an empty views activity for your app okay and also you have added your app icon so below is a detailed description of what your app should be so simply describe what your app should be in detail and come and click on the submit so when you click on it gemini is going to accept your prompt and sometimes gemini is going to ask you to accept things okay so you can auto accept it but i always want to know the progress of my app so i will always go with the accept so always i'm simply going to click on accept and that is it that is all that you are going to do and gemini is going to build your app for you so as you can see gemini has successfully completed my app gemini has built my app for me by simply giving it the prompt and that is it so now that gemini has built it i have to come and test it okay so simply connect to your android phone using the cable to it and come and click on the run app so from the build here you will see that it is building the output okay and it is going to be launched right on a, my android phone so when you click on launch and you see the progress bar and it is launching on my android phone okay and that is it my app is working perfectly fine i can test it right on my android phone inside android studio to make sure that my app is working perfectly fine so now you can simply come and click on stop app now that the app is working perfectly fine and then you can simply come and then build your apk so from the files over here when you click on it from the menu when you click on it you see that you have the build option and among all the build options simply come here to where you have generate a bundle or apks and then simply come and click on generate apks so when you click on it that is it it is going to build your apk for you so as you can see we have successfully built our apk and from the output apk build success so simply come here to the notification icon click on it and you are going to find your apk lo location okay so when you click on the locate it is going to open where the apk is so as you can see we have where the apk is you can come and right click on it and then simply come and then click on copy and send it right onto your android phone and install it okay so simply come and click on the notification and now you have to save it so simply come here to the menu when you click on the file all these options are going to pop up and come and click on save or oh, it's always important to save it and i can come and then click on close to close it and come and click on the exit so now let's go right onto our phone so i have put it from the file manager I'm, I'm simply going to go to all files and from the internal storage when i scroll down i'm simply going to find my apk so when i tap on it it is going to ask me to install it by simply tapping on just once okay and as you can see from here i have the option to install my app let me click on the install and since it is new okay play protect is going to try to scan it but there is nothing wrong with the app so come to more details 
and come and tap on install without scanning okay and that is it my app has been installed let's tap on the open and my christmas card generator is working perfectly fine all that you have to do is just put in the name of the person you want to wish and come and select the relationship you have with the person and then come and click on generate christmas wish and that is it the app is going to give you a wonderful message that you can simply copy or screenshot and send to the person so my app is working perfectly fine so this is how to use ai to build your own app in android studio like the video and see you in my next video